if I, if he ever gets on me, I can just e him, jump backwards, and if he ever gets low enough, if he ever gets low enough, I can like bait out his ult and then pop my ult to chase him down. He's probably gonna start running after his ult's down. I feel like that's how the fights are gonna go. We'll see. We will see. Waiting for the game to load. Yeah. What? We. The beast. Uh. All right. Let's get this show on the road. Go fast. Be right back. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. seconds into a million spawn. Minions have spawned. There's always All right, guys, welcome back to the stream. Oh man, that'd be awkward if I walked back and I was dead. Because he saw me standing there. That would be most unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to start with Valor here. And wait for Trent to show. He built up a few columns. Okay, that's cool. Did he leash on the double columns or did he just solo them? I think he just built up Fury on the small one. I don't think he... Uh, I think he actually killed them or got EXP. I could be wrong though. Have a flash stack. It's a little too now, I gotta be careful. Sometimes I swear that bird is showing up. Pops is ult and ignite or not ult ghost. Thankfully I didn't die. I think he's backing. Why is that cooldown? It's 12 seconds. But... There's no reason he has to know that. Are you still here? What the heck? I think he backed for sure. I was like wasting on my mana to push the wave up. I waste this spin. I have no more health pots left. My ignite's up. His is down. So I should be able to win the next fight. 
He wants to save for the wave, though. Pretty low. He's going back. He did not want to die. Alright, oh, is not a jungle? Wait, what? He's got one bandage top. I actually didn't want to dive all the way, but he tanked it, so I went in for it. Could have flashed, actually. I didn't get one pass of proc off on it after the initial one with my E. That was kind of bad. Oh well. Basically, just handed him a free kill. If my E cast there, he would have died, but I was still slightly on cooldown. Oh well. Scepter. Should be able to keep me sustained in lane. I oh, picked one up too. Tremor has a much higher base AD than me, so he's gonna get a bit more out of that life steal. And his ghost is gonna be up soon too. And I don't have flash. This could be a bit tricky. Damn. I really wish I didn't die there. That's my bad. Should just called the gank off when I had the chance. I felt like my attacking didn't do any damage there. I don't know. Maybe he just healed like for nearly the same amount as I dealt. I push this up. Double man sister. This guy. I'm gonna get Merc I'm gonna get Zerker's Greaves and a ward. Um picked up Zerker's Greaves. Very efficient source of attack speed and move speed for an 80 carry. And since I'm in a melee matchup and this guy hasn't bought boots yet, I think the increase the forty five or the five forty five move speed will help me out a lot. Um, I should be able to kite him pretty effectively, especially when I proc my passive and get the bonus move speed from heightened senses. Max and Q does increase the blind duration, but now that proccing your passive is so valuable, 
think it's almost better to max E. Can we getting red or doing double guns? I'm not sure. I'm gonna hold the lane here. I'm a uh, 15 CS or one to one because of that silly dive I made. With Mumu. But I was the one that ended up going for the kill and dying for it. Um, next blind second. Alright, well, what I was saying was, now that proccing your passive gives you move speed, uh, and the fact that your E is a mini stun now, I think it's almost worth maxing E first, just because you proc, you get more passives up, it's easier for you to proc those, and you can get your mini stun off more, which will help you in engages and stuff. results so Trade one turret shot for a few pot shots at Trinomir. I think it's worth it. Should have flashed earlier. It's my bad. He got two crits on me, but he had max uh he had max fury, so that should have been expected. Trade one for one, but move will overstay a little bit, and a good roam by Popo if able to pick him up. Um, get a ward, and some health pots under my top. I don't really want to buy anything until I have 1550 for my VF sword. Rise is pushing at mid, he has double buffs somehow. How did Rise get double buffs? Oh, he's three and one. Probably kill Alistar random. Or they don't have a jungler. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, they fought. I need more water. I still don't get what's happening. I know I've been wondering Trindamir. Had they been two v winning bot in mid? I guess that's probably what was happening. this up. Trinomir's made a lot of purchases and since I'm seeing on so much gold. Oh sh he has red buff. I can't really fight him with red buff available. Need to farm up 200 gold and then I'll come back to him with the BF sword. It should be good to go. I'm not really worried about countering him in lane to be honest. I think I can free farm. Even though he p the picking up the red buff makes this lane matchup a little questionable. I'm gonna sit back and let him push. He might even try to turret dive me or something. But I think with my blind, it should be okay. Oh god. That's not good. Yeah, the quim buff was amazing. That's 
that's slow. If that's slow enough, he would have had to pop his ult to live there. I'm push this up. He's pretty chunk. If I get to kill him and get his red, I can probably carry this game. What happened, bot? It's pretty chunk. So much sustain from double map though. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't see him coming. I actually didn't think his headbutt range was that long though. Oh, he has mobility boost, that's fine. Oh, my bad. Should have backed earlier. I had more than enough gold. It's too focused on harassing down Trinomir. That was a pretty obvious king. Um, I think he should be able to hold the, the turret. Actually, if Trinomir was feeling, feeling really feisty, he would have dove with like the last 10 seconds of the red buff there. Because uh, he has like barely any armor. He just has his base armor. Oh wait, he has Madras. Eh, he's still pretty tanky. Okay, what the heck? Mm. I'm gonna get drag off that. It's not good. He is ultimate, don't get baited. Oh, he used it. My ult's down, otherwise I would give chase. I don't think I could beat Graves in a fight. You know how my blind. The flash graph. Oh my god. No. That was a good flash. Flash snare by Zara, didn't see that coming. Didn't have flash up on my ult. Coulda, coulda instinctively bl uh, blinded Graves earlier, but that caught us off guard. Thresh didn't even get his ult off, he got burst too fast. Yeah, B uh, Bloodthirst turned 200 gold, they're pushing mid up really hard though. Dang. That sucks. We're losing on all fronts. It's alright. Gotta stay strong and believe we can come back. So fast now for 130 gold and get my butters. So that might have been the best play. Once I get butters, once I get butters, so I don't really need a uh, HP regen. And the mana regen is whatever, to be honest. Just need a flash to get me through laning phase. Damn, this is not not a good spot right now. Oh shit, he's coming. Protect me. I'm hiding in turret range. Alright, so that if he comes from the back, I can see him. Oh shit, he's top. Oh. Coming top. Bot's pretty low, too. Dang, if I my all, I could converge on them so hard. But as it stands, I'll probably just walk up and they'll just start running away. Oh my god, they caught them off guard. Good play by Ali and Eve. Try to move butt. Oh, nice play. Hmm. 
guys swaving back? I'm taking red. Right, I'm back. Alt up in 10 seconds. Got a zeal now, I guess. Zeal plus reward. Hmm. Me and Rise are pretty farmed, but. I mean, that grade is snowballing too hard. I don't know. It's 1424. Game's not over. But by 19 minutes, it's a pretty big kill differential. Of course, the game's not decided by kills. There are other factors to consider, such as the fact that they don't have a smite slash jungler, and we do. Coming mid. Oh my god, I, I didn't live at all. Damn it. Oh, kill him. One more hit. Oh my god, he's gone. Solo. Snipe him, snipe him. Go! Oh my god, he missed. Just attack him to the ground. Attack him to the ground. He has one shot left. One shot. That's all it takes. Oh my god. Even before they got juked. There you go. Good job. Alright, back back in action. What do I want to do here? Uh, I need more crit. I'm just gonna go PD. BTPD, not the best Quinn build to be honest. I already have Zeal. But they're not stacking much armor, so I don't really need Last Whisper. And if I'm just going like pre carry. Oh, did he take our blue, didn't he? No, he didn't. Uh, we have rise mid, what's he have? You can, have? you can have the blue. No, it doesn't scale with magic anymore. I'm gonna push this up. Fuck, my blind's down. Good job. I'm gonna lay a stuff the wave. Hopefully he's not roaming. I would just die in one shot. But if I get full health, I can take her, I think. Actually, he has Ravidon, so oh my god. Death by grass. Just kidding. He would destroy me. Okay, he's a drag. I'm gonna push top. I'm gonna take top turret. That needs to go down. More mana is not as good as on rise anymore because they changed the active or the damage on hit or slash on ability cast to physical instead of magic. So it no longer scales with magic pen. It's not like trash on rise, but it's easy. It's more effective to go stir up some freights now. Um, just mathematically speaking, before it was really preference. Do you have more damage or do you have more survivability with decent damage? And I think now the choice is a bit more one dimensional. I could win the fight. I don't have to pop ignite there though. I'm gonna back. He's missing. To get to me, he would have had to walk past the creep wave or a zingy. Actually, no, he wouldn't. He, if he blocked back the zingy, I would have saw him, but he could have just ran through the creeps. I'm silly. Uh, we have two melee champions. Three melee champions. I can kite. I think Frozenmouth is really good this game. I'm probably gonna pick it up. Oh. 
Oh, it's gonna respawn just now. Where's Harvey good this game? You can get one of those. I'm so thirsty. Can we pause the game? I wanna get some water. Oh my god. I need someone to lead into Eve. I don't want to get burst by her. You know, first she comes at us, 1v5. I'll get to like 20% health. At the back. Damn, he has red buff. One free, oh, he got one free turret off that. I hope we can win 4v4. And I hope I can hold 1v1 versus him. He has Bilge Water plus Red Buff. He's gonna be okay though. I'm not that worried. you over the wall watch. Never mind. He's dead. Damn dude, even, even though I flash I died. My blind was on my blind didn't co come back up in time. If I max blind there instead of W, it would have been up in time to live. But that's just one situation. W's, w W max comes in handy, I think in a lot more. Oh my god. Okay, the cage. If I get home boots, is that, am I gonna be able to save this? I'm gonna try. Oh, the fight's already over. My ult's down. If I had ult up, I could just run in that graves and probably kill him. Actually, Ali's combo is probably up. Hmm. They're pretty strong. I really wanna get a red buff. Yeah, I thought, I thought if even I thought if I flash I'd be fine. But Trinity Mary E cooldown's really low when he's just spamming crits on you. Gets reduced by two seconds of crit. Mm -hmm, definitely need that mallet. It'll help me cut in team fights and it'll also help me split push against Trinity Mary very very easily. Oh, I was about to pop my ult. Good thing it wasn't up yet. Otherwise, I would have wasted it there. I thought I was going to try to chase down Varus. I just love that you get 60 moves here for 2 seconds. Just, just because you proc your passive. Like, that's disgustingly powerful. On a top player. Oh my god, it's gonna pick up Phage. Don't you dare die, my friend. I right, backed off. Well, they're not going for Baron. Even before he turns around, turns it around. Oh. A Zangi with the plays. That's what I like to see. I'm scared as hell sitting here. I wonder if Eve ran. I wonder if I could blow up Eve. I don't think I have the damage to it. No, she has a shield too. Oh my god, if she walks in here, I'm probably gonna do it. Even though I shouldn't. She's gonna keep pushing. I'm going on her. Rip. I know she can kill me. I was actually saying rip to myself, but I didn't die. I know, I saw her. Just trying to waste his time. So, boxing up a 
pushed up. That's why he's still waiting there. He's like, he has to go for the farm. There's no way he waited that long. Six hundred gold for giant spell, and then I'll be eight hundred gold away from my frozen mallet, which is gonna be splendid. Yeah, they have no smite. I feel like that's like that's like how we're gonna win the game. By forcing a smart baron. Fuck, he's missing. Oh, they're bot. That guy's already dead. I think he's dead. I'm trying to pressure them. Five bot. They have to go through three people. One who has okay wave clear. Oh, Eve went back? Nope. I wonder if five people can outpush me. Hopefully they don't end the game. That would feel terrible. to make a desperate play. Should have back. Should have back. So obvious. I thought I, I thought I'd, I'd like force them to back, and I'd still get damage off on the turret, but they just kept going, and then Eve recalled after getting a kill and finished me off. They put ourselves in such a bad spot for dying. I should have recalled, dude. The inhib was 100% gone, but they wouldn't have been able to end it unless they jibbed me. Damn, that was bad. We were pretty behind, but to be honest, like I think I think we were we were we were gaining momentum very steadily.